that's a great honor, but I, don't, I felt like somewhat undeserving, you know, when you, you go to Holy Trinity, you see the same widows that do all the work and cook the food and clean up the church. And there's a lot of people that are a whole lot more deserving than I am, but I was honored. And uh, I think it's strengthened my faith a little bit because I reflect more since, you know, I was asked to accept this award on just how lucky I am and uh, what Christ means in my life and uh, how I can improve and always strive to be a kinder and better person and, and more Christ-like. Father Anthony asked me uh, to engage in a, a program called Healing the Church. It was a group of about eight people and we met on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and uh, talked about the church and you know it's always been the church and we've always been somewhat removed from it and I came to the realization that it's our church. I always feel I fall far short of where I could and should be. So uh, you know if I get an opportunity to try to expand my faith and I did it many years ago through a program called Cornerstone and I did that for two full years and we met uh, twice a month for every month and it was wonderful and we really formed quite a bond and I think everybody came out of that experience being more faithful and uh, renew is sort of just an extension of that. I think I've just been lucky because I got a great wife and, and kids that have turned out wonderfully well that have a good value system and are industrious and kind and hardworking and loyal and thoughtful and so I think I've gotten lucky beyond what I deserve. You know, I, I think I've always tried to tell my kids to be hard work and be industrious, be honest, but most important, be kind. And if you're kind in your day-to-day -day interactions, it'll come back to you 10 times over. And you know, kind doesn't mean you can't be driven and hard working and, and, and uh, goal oriented, but you can do all those things and be kind. We need a little more kindness. And, Renew recommends more kindness. When people are so down, as they are during this coronavirus, with the death of loved ones and not being able to be by their side, and loss of jobs, and kids that aren't going to school, and mental health that's suffered so greatly, that religion can be a, a place to comfort yourself and comfort others, and uh, try to operate on that principle of uh, uh, Pope Francis, where the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And uh, it's just always worked for me to have people empowered. And, uh, I've always had faith that if, if uh, you do what Jesus would do, you, you're probably going to work out just fine. And, uh, you know, I fall, for, fall far short of Jesus by anybody's measure. But uh, we knew like Catholicism is a journey and one that's never complete, one that you're always striving to do a little better at. I think if there's a, a movement that can save the church, we knew maybe it, and uh, it's certainly worth saving.